everyone, when a tangent line at square root of 2 comma 1 on a hyperbola, x squared minus y squared equals 1, intersects at some topes at points P and Q, we're going to find the area of triangle OPQ. O is the origin. All right. I did a little graph here, but let's uh, look and see what we have. Um, we want to look at the tangent line uh, at square root of 2 comma 1 on this hyperbola. So basically, uh, since we're looking at that, we're going to use this point uh, equation here for hyperbola tangents. And what I can do, I have, I'm going to write it bigger because it's hard to see. Uh, x squared minus y squared equals 1. That basically means your a squared is 1 and your b squared is 1. All right, so therefore, uh, using this uh, equation, we're going to get that um, this equals square root of 2x minus y equals 1. So that's the equation of the tangent line on this hyperbola. <coughs> I put it in purple here. So this purple line here is the equation of the tangent line. I just rewrote it y equals square root of 2x minus 1. So there's your y-intercept, uh, negative 1. All right, now the equation of the asymptotes, these blue lines I drew here, are y equals plus or minus b divided by ax. But this is our um, b and a, so basically this just equals uh, 1 divided by 1, so it's going to be plus or minus x. All right, so we're just going to use y equals x, and um, this is our p and q here. So substituting uh, y equals x into our equation, we're going to get uh, square root of 2x minus x equals 1. Therefore, that means we have square root of um, 2 minus 1 times x equals 1. Solving for x, that gives us x equals square root of 2 plus 1. All right, substituting, let's do the negative part. Substituting y equals negative x, we're going to get um, square root of 2x plus x equals 1. So that means we're going to have uh, square root of 2 plus 1 times x equals 1, or we'd have x, solving for x, x equals square root of 2 minus 1. So this is your x when uh, our y equals x, and this is your x when our y equals negative x. So that's going to be our points. Our points are going to be, um, let's see, we're going to have a uh, point P is going to equal square root of 2 plus 1. And then we had for this point P, we had y equals x. So we just copy it down, square root of 2 plus 1. So that's this point P. And then for point Q, we had square root of 2 minus 1. And then for this one, it was y equals negative x. So basically, you're going to do negative. So it's going to be negative square root of 2 plus 1. So there's your p's and q's uh, point. And this is your q. This is the origin. All right. Now, all we have to do is find the distance between um, o and p and o and q and do the area of a, a right triangle, which is going to be equal to 1 half base times height, so the two purple lines. So using the distance formula, let's first do OP. You do OP, you're going to get square root of square root of 2 plus 1 squared plus square root of 2 plus 1 squared. All right. This is going to equal square root of 2 times 2 plus 2 square root of 2 plus 1. This simplifies to equal 
square root of 6 plus 4 square root of 2. Now, I did some videos on how to simplify this, so I'm going to go over this real quick. We want to break this down because we don't want it to leave it like this. So what we're going to do is take um, 6 and write this as 4 plus 2. And then write this, uh, put in a 2 in here. So we're going to write this as 2 square root of 8. What I'm trying to do is get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. <coughs> So the reason I uh, wanted this to be a 2 is because I have this 2ab. And I'm going to let this be a and this let this be b. So basically I can write this as a square root of 4 uh, plus 2 square root. And then I'm going to write this as 4 times 2. Alright, and then we have uh, plus 2. So that means I can write this as a square root of uh, square root of 4 plus square root of 2 um, which is going to equal and that's going to be squared when I uh, um, condense my perfect square trinomial and this is just going to equal uh, uh, square root of 4 plus square root of 2 whoops, which equals 2 plus square root of 2 so basically, we like this form better than this form. We don't like that form as much. All right, so that's just a little technique. You try to make it this way so you can condense it to look this way. And then when you have the radical, it gets rid of the, the radical sign. All right, so now we have to find um, OP. Um, this was uh, OP. So OP is, let's write it here, uh, 2 plus uh, square root of 2. Now we need uh, OQ. So for OQ we're going to get and this point here was uh, square root of 2 minus 1. This is your Q. And negative square root of 2 plus 1. Alright, so this is going to equal square root. We have square root of 2 minus 1 squared plus negative square root of 2 plus 1 squared. This is going to give you square root of 2 times 2 plus 2 square root of 2 plus 1. Now this is going to give you square root of 6 minus 4 square root of 2. So we're running into the same thing. So let's write this as equals uh, square root of 4. In this case we have a minus right so um, I think this should be 2 times 2 yeah this should have been a minus thank you alright so we're gonna have 4 minus 2 square root of 4 times 2 and then um, plus 2 so this is going to equal um, the square root of square root of 4 minus square root of 2 squared which gives you 2 minus square root of 2. Alright, so it's almost like the other one uh, but it has a minus. Now it is a right triangle uh, because the asymptotes are x, y equals x and y equals uh, negative x. So we have that 90 degree angle when you uh, graph. So that's going to be a 90 degree angle there. Uh, therefore, uh, the area of a right triangle is one half uh, base times height, so it's going to be one half o the length of OP times the length of OQ. So that's just going to equal, um, uh, let's see, 2 plus square root of 2 times 2 minus square root of 2. And this is going to give you um, one half times 4 minus 2 and this equals 1. So that's the area of the triangle. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.